I was I was sent to study near Darjeeling at the at the age of five. So I didn't I lived there part time only on holidays. So the influence of uh, traditional society was not was not uh, that great at that time because we I think a lot of people coming from those areas we we had to study outside because there were no you know the a certain level of ed education that was required. Then after that I came to Lady Sri Ram and Jane. My mother and my father were different. My father was a, politi a modern political person. He was one of the planners and thinkers of the Mizo movement. They were, he was uh, known to Lal Denga and to the movement. And he was the first person. He was, he was a, I think he, he urged people to come out and fight for the movement. And on the first day itself, when the movement broke out, he was taken to prison. He was in Tihar jail. and. Uh, Hazari Bag jail for for yeah, for a long time. Anyway, so so I experienced politics on both sides. Mother was uh, from a from the most uh, well known, recorded, and uh, her, her grandfather is the acknowledged, most powerful, most respected traditional leader. He is the only one who is in the, in the national in the uh, state museum, representing the traditional rulers. So I asked why and they said because he was the only one who could take on the British. Yeah, I came here because first of all the Mizoram was, we had this trouble, you know, the, with the centre which started because of famine and political problems. So we, this movement against the centre and uh, was going on and it was not a place to live in. There was no, I couldn't have studied there. So I came to Lady Shiram and then to JNU.